Hello, this is MD McCollum, and we're going to take a quick look at Lumion Pro. Now, I am not uh, an everyday Lumion user, so I'm not going to say the way I'm doing things is the right way, but let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, they give us several options. They also give us some examples we can load, uh, but we have like plain, sunset, hills. I'm going to go ahead and just take plain, and what we're going to do is take a look at how some of these tools work. Let's go over here to landscape, and from there, let's go to terrain, and let's make mountains. That just puts some mountains in the background. Now, what I like about uh, Lumion more than anything is the speed in which it does things. So, let's go ahead and go back to height. Let's go to lower, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is just on a stock setting. We're going to lower this and cut a, a valley in here. Cut a canyon. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's speed up our brush. And you can see how fast that reacts. Let's cut the canyon up this way. And then we'll bring it off screen. Don't worry about the roughness. We can go in and smooth that out. Back up a little here. Now, point of view is very important in working with Lumion. It's a single screen. Let's go to smooth. And all I'm going to do, and I'm going to slow down that brush so we don't smooth out everything, is I'm just going to smooth some of this out. And now let's go take a look and how we would come in here and like change some of the rock or things like that. First off, we can choose the landscape we want right here. Let's say we want something like that, something that's cold. And then we can go even further and we can come in here to paint. And like right here is the side rock. Well, we can change that out. Oh, let's see. Look like it's Thailand side rock. Let's go with uh, European side rock and see how that changes that right there. Now you can come in and paint different things on depending on what you choose in these slots. Now another thing that there are, or there are, there's ocean and there's water. Water is a grid that you lay down that you can stretch out, move up and down, and like fill a hole with it, fill a stream or, or a pond with it. It also has ocean. We'll turn it on. And I'm going to hold down the shift key and lower it. And this is more like an infinite plane. Oop, I didn't release right. Like I said, I'm not an everyday user of this. Let me get back down and release it. And then we have here, we have wave intensity. Turbidity. Of course, the height. Color presets. Wind speed. There's a lot of things you can do. And this water is also um, a pretty, it's interactive as far as like, when a boat hull or something goes through it, you'll see a little bit of interaction with it. Now let's go ahead and just jump from here and let's go into movie right quick. And what we're going to do is record a movie. And that's very simple. If this is where we want to start, we'll just go ahead and click that. Then we can move with our controls. And it's however you want to do it. Click again. Just do a little random movement here. Click again, and this is the movie. That's how simple it was to go between those. Now, we can come out of here, and we can add effects at this level, or we can add effects over the entire movie. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, here's weather, snow. Pull back our cloud layer where we can actually see it. This way we can come in here. And actually use the volume clouds. And there's a lot of things that you can do with clouds. Another thing that I like is see we have volumetric sunlight. And going to style, there's analog color lab. This is something that uh, that I've really come to like quite a bit. 
is the little color lab. You can see how it changes. It's got presets in it. And of course you can set the amount. Now this is just a little bit. This, this doesn't even scratch the surface of what we can do. But you can see right there how simple it is just to get that much done. Now you can come back out of here, go into build, and make whatever changes you want to uh, make. Let's see, like let's go to landscape and flatten. Let's make it smaller. And you can see here how you can flatten out part of this if you wanted to make that like a ridge line. Or if you wanted to make a little road that went along a trail, you would just use the flatten tool to come along and flatten it out. There's just so much to go over here that there's no way we can go over everything that we can do. And this just has to do with setting up your environment. It has nothing to do yet with putting in any buildings or anything else. Now let's take a look at dropping some assets into the scene. Let's go ahead and go down and let's place our house. Now you can move these items around however you wish. So we'll just place a few items here. And let's go grab some trees and things like that. Let's see. What do we want? No, oh, better yet. Yeah, let's put that right in the center. And I'm not going to tell you my landscape is the best in the world. Grab an elm tree. Then let's go see what we have for plants. False yucca. That's a nice looking plant. Okay. And just that simple, we've populated scene. As you can see, there was really nothing to adding those. Now let's take a look at going into the movie, and let's add one of the special effects to this scene. Like here, as you can already see, we have sky drop, and we have pastel sketch hidden. All right, I'm going to go ahead and remove those. And let's see. First thing I'm going to want to add is sky drop. So let's go in and click and let's pick what we're going to drop and how. First item, the house. Then the pickup. Then the plants. This is whatever order you want them to go in. Now let's see what we've got. Let's watch and see what we have. Okay. Okay, now. Let's see. We want to start just a little sooner. And let's space it out in between them. That's a little too slow. I can start a little later too. Okay. Now let's go back in here again. 
but I'm still not sold. On that angle. Now you could go back and remove that effect too if you wanted to see exactly how it was working. All I did was move the camera. Let's see what we have here now. I still think that's a bit too slow. So we'll speed it up. And that's how you do that little number. Now there's a lot of other things we can do here. As you know, there's several things we can add. Let's go in and let's see. Bloom. You see there what I'm talking about with bloom? God rays. So we'll go to decay pretty good. Right, let's see what else we have. Let's try something else here. And this is the same setup with just a different look to it, different artistic look. As you can see, there's lots of things you can do with this. Uh, it's actually just a, a pretty amazing program.